are we on the are we on the Facebook yet? We are on the Facebook. I remember are we on the Facebook. Facebook? I remember the Facebook days. I remember when that because like because actually you know since it started at Harvard, I went to I went to Tufts for for mm -hmm. undergrad. Mm -hmm. So like we were like the next wave after it left after it left Harvard since we were all in the 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 Boston area. So like I remember when it was the Facebook before the Facebook. <laughs> people out there who <laughs> That's don't know young people. Who don't know about like when it was the wall when people could just write on your wall and say outlandish stuff the wall used to get me in trouble with my ex-girlfriend that's a whole nother discussion yeah like, we had <laughs> okay we got to talk about the verdict yeah i listen i'm surprised you are surprised i i no i'm surprised because even the times we know that crimes have been committed people still go home free because we we saw everybody beat Rodney King's ass, and right. they went oh, home, yes. and mm -hmm. they went home. So, mm -hmm. and and on top of that, I've mentioned this on 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 our videos before, but when that cop killed Walter Scott, um, it took two trials to nail him, even though he got on the stand during the first trial and said that what I said don't match the video. So he admitted right. that he lied about what he said, and it still took two trials to get him. Right. So I so even though we knew this was very clear murder i still since we don't have a long history of actually getting the correct verdict i i wasn't trying to i was trying to uh, uh taper my expectations yeah i thought for sure he would have to get it but i thought that before and so i did not want to get in any way feel positive so the disappointment i didn't want the disappointment I, to be too great I, I, I will i will say this though when 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 the uh when the story came out that the, the the jury wanted you know clarification on the different counts my assumption was that okay if they need clarification then maybe they're trying to give him whatever the least manslaughter uh, right i thought that's what they were going for so when it came back that he was guilty on all counts i was like oh that's surprising <laughs> like and, and wasn't it nice how they took his ass right then the thing is it's, it's funny seeing his face because I remember at one point in time, right before they took him out, like he like nodded at the judge. And I'm just like, either he's in denial or he's just like, I'm probably gonna appeal this and get out. Like I, I feel like he was he was really, really calm given the fact that they didn't convict him of, of, of everything. So now it remains to be seen how much time they'll actually give him. Because there's of course with right. these with these with these verdicts, you, there's a, a range of years that you can Right. Yeah. I hope it's not no stupid because I, I mean, I could be wrong about this. I think 12 years is the least. Right. I was about to say this is between like 10 to 15 or something like that. So I hope it's nothing crazy like that. I'd be pissed off. Yes. I don't think it's going to be that judge seemed like that does seem like I think it's going to be, you know, decent. And you see, did you see that they're opening the Justice Department is talking about opening the case for the 17 year old teen? He, Which, had, uh, he was involved in an incident with a teen. You know, he had 17, like 17, he had a yeah, bunch it was, of it accounts. Was 18, yeah, it was 18 different accounts, including like other deaths. Right, like, yeah, so a teenage like, child yeah. died in his, at his, because of him. And so the jury, the justice department is looking into that and picking up, so I think he's done. But, uh, oh, okay, G good, good for him. But it's like, what people fail to realize, because I mean, listen, we're happy anytime the right thing is done, right. right? But on the same token, when you have an officer who has 18 complaints against him, including other people dead, why does it take this in order for him to be reprimanded for anything? Right. And like there's still it's, people... it's almost two dozen times that he's been in trouble before. Right. And it's been allowed to. So somebody like him shouldn't have even been on the street to even kill George Floyd. He should have had a badge in the first place. If you get that, this I don't know of any other job that you can get in trouble 18 different times and, and still have a job. Listen, past two times, you're probably going to lose your job in the average scenario. Exactly, for real. And then this, my thing is, people don't complain against the cops because we know basically ain't shit going to happen. So if people get mad enough where they're going actually, and filling out all that times. paperwork. Right. So if there's 18 who did it, you know that's that's times one thousand, and and the thing is, you see that you see that a lot in these situations. Like when you actually look into these 
or like officers' backgrounds, and you see just how many times they've had some semblance of, you know, looking into disciplinary action before and all that. It's just like, why, why are people allowed to just run around on the streets with weapons when they, they're in, they, they seem to be constantly in situations that cause damage to other people like that? Right. It, it's my 18, let me be accused of something 18 times. 18? Oh, exactly. Uh, exactly. Of anything. Right. Like, if, like, yo, Randy, if I left the toilet seat up 18 times in my house, man, that's liable <laughs> to start a world war with my wife. Like, are you serious? <laughs> you can't do something 18 times and everybody. Yeah, cool, but you right? know what? I mean, I, I, you know, I'm sad to say this. I really didn't even want it to be this way, but cops are seen as, you know, they're on a whole different level, particularly white cops, because black cops do get convicted more. And uh, they're doing what the hell they were meant to do. I mean, matter of fact, they I just, out. they're doing I, I just exactly saw, what they were meant to do. I just saw this video today. I don't know if you saw it because, you know, like I, 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 I waffle back and forth about Sean King, but I can say that he does bring attention to things that I probably wouldn't have known otherwise. He put up this video about this, uh, this, uh, this, I, I don't know exactly what his role is with the police, but he's basically like a trainer where he like trains officers about you know, altercations and et cetera, et cetera. And he basically talked about how he knows of incidents like where after pol a, pol an officer actually kills someone, they go home and have like the best sex of their life. And I'm just like, what kind of Neanderthal are you that that's even entering your your your, your psyche after you've essentially killed someone, you've murdered someone. Right. And then now you're thinking to yourself like, yeah, I'm gonna get this ass now. Like, Let me go get this. Like, what's like, 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 People but I mean, like I think that's that. who some of these people are. Well, just so you know, yesterday I saw my first Blue Lives Matter flag. This guy had it on the back of his truck, one of those big ass flags that you can put up. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm assuming that was for Chauvin. And I'm like, what kind of cruel person? Like, even if you feel that cops are being treated badly, that you're mad that he got convicted uh, of that. You know what? It's it's interesting because, like, of course, like I, when it comes to news sources, I run the gamut of things, and I, I talk all the time about how I watch Fox News because I like to see how they cover these things. Yeah. And and so I was watching when I don't know this man's name, but he basically said, you know, I'm glad he got convicted, even if he wasn't guilty of all the charges. And I'm just like, well, okay, that's part one that's mind-boggling but then you you this is how you know you're you're off the deep end because Ju judge janine right i forgot what her last name is but she she has a history of saying fuck shit right yeah. even seat. after he said that he was she was like wait whoa 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 like let's let's slow down here like when it's universally understood they're like okay even by the people who love cops love cops Derek Chauvin is just like, bro, this is as clear cut as it gets. It's clear cut to everyone except Candace Owens. Okay, I don't even know why you keep saying her to me. You want me to break out in high. I don't, I, I really- No, I, I, didn't, I didn't even want to watch this. My wife, showed me, my wife showed me a video of her and it, 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 it was, I turned it off. I turned it off because I couldn't, I can't, I couldn't I can't watch these times. But, but it, the, the, there's something, there's something that truly truly bothers me about listen i'm i'm an advocate to 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 love everybody as much as i come here i talk my shit because we need to i really i i, I love people i do like I, I really genuinely do but there's something spiritually wrong about a black person of any, of, of, of any gender who just consistently makes it their mission to undermine black people like there, like there, there's something spiritually wrong with you because, like, well, even because... in a even in a case like this, where some of the strongest bigots have agreed that Chauvin is wrong, I saw Pat Robertson over there, Robertson out there talking about how. No, I saw that, that too. Even he was when like, you yeah. even have people like him. There's something spiritually wrong with you to still try to find a way to say that he was justified. Like, like you're literally on an island by yourself, even going against the people who you think are your allies. Like, the, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't understand what her incessant need 
to undermine us is. I don't, I don't act, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And and, and it, it, it's it, that's why I had to turn it off. It's one thing to get like mad at idiots. But because because the thing is, I actually don't think she's stupid. I think there's literally something spiritually wrong with that woman. Like I, I don't I don't know don't how think, to that, don't you think that she's just uses it strategically? Like she makes money from saying the stuff she says. Like she, it, it is financially beneficial to her. Her job is to do that. So, you know, maybe if it started out that she disagreed with us on a couple of things, right? But now that's what her job is to do. Like, she's like a shock jock, really. Like she's like one of those people and she's used. I mean, it's so funny because, you know, one of my clients I'm working with and, you know, I tell them things they should do. And he gonna write me this letter about what this one black guy he knows says. And I'm like, why? Do mm -hmm. white people fight, feel that they can pull out this one black person uh -huh. and that white, one black person speaks for all black people or that just proves everything? Like, no, my, I'm like, okay, first of all, you're tokenizing this, your friend, your supposed friend. And mm -hmm. so I don't give a fuck what he's saying. He don't speak for black there's, people. There's, but, but here's the thing too, is that, well, people like her, cause, cause you're right. It's a, it's a, it's a token, it's a tokenism that's dangerous, right? But on the same, but on the other hand, what people I heard don't seem to realize is that eventually the tokens get thrown away too. Right, but they where's, can't help themselves. Where's, you thought, oh, where's, they where's, where's, where's Diamond and Silk right now? Yeah, where's Diamond and Silk is on. Where's Diamond, where is the, uh, that black sheriff that they used to always have oh, on Fox gone. News? But where, did, you OJ, did you hear OJ Simpson and his comments? He's mad at LeBron? Uh, yeah, I, I, I know the the the... the I know Nicole's family is mad at you too, bro. So, you know, we don't, we don't need, we don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to hear what, what I'm saying is, when, like what I'm saying is if he hadn't gotten, if he gotten, hadn't gotten woke and saw that, they didn't care who you were orange juice, they locked your, they got, they were going to get him on something. When he got off convicted, they were going to get they him, got him And they got they him. him. They got him. They were determined <laughs> to get him. And I didn't teach him shit. And he's still up there shucking and jiving. I was like, it just seems like, I don't know. There should be a wake up. There should be but a wake up. I'm in, in, in OJ's case. I'm not uh, expecting much from a double murderer. <laughs> it's just like double you, murder. you would think. You would think somebody in his position would just like listen. If I, if I was anywhere near OJ's position, God forbid, you wouldn't see or hear from me ever. Oh, like quiet as hell. And don't get me wrong. He should have gotten off the case. They did lose that case. I mean, he he deserved to be free. If you're looking at legal, but he bought a great, he bought a, his freedom as people do all the time. He did, he did, he did, he did. I mean, he did that shit though. He did, <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> but yeah, no, you're, you're, you're right. I don't think the argument was if he did it, but it's like- Yeah, no, they, they, did a, they did a masterful job of- uh, They did a great job. And that's what people do. They buy, they buy different defense. Okay, so wait a minute. So the, I, I will tell you this, if they, if they had not convicted Chauvin, I don't think I could have gone to work the next day or the next month. I was, I was scared about it because, you know, I said this in a video. I was like, black people live off of hope. Like hope is our currency because America has always treated black people like shit. It ain't like we were like, oh, remember the good old days? You know, <laughs> you know, our shit was real tight with us and stuff. We had equal rights and everything. No, we've never ever been treated fairly in America, right? Our relationship is as toxic as toxic can get. So we live off hope for things being better. That's the only thing that drives us. And so when the Chauvin thing came, you know, was up and, you know, we saw all that we saw and, you know, the man is standing on his neck from kneeling on his neck for almost 10 minutes. I was like, I don't see how I'm going to be able to find any hope after that. Cause that means motherfuckers like there's no accountability. You could do whatever the fuck you want to to black people and forget it. And I said, so if they boldly do that, I'm not going to build a bullshit anymore. And while it was not, it's sad that it took all that. If they still didn't find him guilty, I really don't know how I would have made it. And I'm serious. There's going to be some dramatic stuff. Randy, Randy B would have been. But see, you know, for me, I, I come from, I come from the other side in the sense that I purpose, I purposefully try to strip hope away. <laughs> Just so like, it's almost like, you're, you're, you're lowering your expectations just so the fall won't be as bad, right? Well, and it's, it's, the wrong, you it's, have the wrong, it's the wrong way for yourself, like, you know, emotionally to deal with things. But it's like, when you've been let down that many times, it's like, I don't want to 
bring myself up here just to tragically collapse after and that. A hope for the trial. I'm talking about hope for America. Like you've got three kids. I've got two kids. We've got to hope things will be better for them. Or we couldn't fucking do this. We couldn't do it. Like we could not do what we do because we got to hope that America will finally get this right somehow. Because if right. we if we thought not, how do we survive? And so I believe black people keep on keeping on and keep on pushing on because America, because we, we we somehow believe in her. We, we it, she she no she ain't treat us right at all, but we somehow believe in her. Somehow, no. a little bit. Because how could no, the thing is you're 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 absolutely right and it's like still I, I don't, I don't know. It's like maybe it's a uh, a place that I, that that I'm in now, but it's like it's it, it's hard to keep that alive. No, that's like, what I mean. It's very, very, very. Because hard. like no, because I, I remember like on on a slightly unrelated you know topic like when you talk about something like gun control, right? And I, I just remember like telling my wife like even when it happened, I was just like, or even when Sandy Hook happened, I was just like, if this can't get gun control I, I don't know what can I don't like if if if, right. if 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 children if the deaths of that many children can't galvanize people to do something different I don't know what can because I remember even after that when Ted Cruz was running for president I distinctly remember one of his ads saying and after Sandy Hook Cruz battled with Obama over gun laws and I was just like that's a source of pride for you but like, that's what it is they sick they like that's a that's that's a positive like you put that in there as a positive right. that after 20 children died you basically said hey let's do nothing different that's that's your contribution so it's hard to just keep the the whole because I, I tell you i'll tell you something else that that these times are illuminating too like i remember you know years ago there was this idea that once like the old guard died off Oh yeah, people always start, think that. Then things would start to improve. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. Because the new guard is indoctrinated by the old guard. Absolutely. And then everything continues on. <laughs> like, yep. everything, yep. everything continues on. Really, the hope is that the number of people who start to see things logically start to outweigh the numbers of the I idiot. do think that is happening. I do think that is happening, but then it's just like, man, like it's taking a long damn time now. It's though. taking a long fucking time. Long damn time. Damn. <laughs> long time. Well, Elsie, I only want to holler at you a minute. I am in LA with for my girl's birthday. Uh, no, I see, I see the photos, I see the pics in the video. Yeah, I see, we out here girl. living our living our best lives. These are my girls from my from my first day freshman year. Uh we met and we've been cool ever since. Now that's actually amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That thing. Yeah, you know, I, 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 like, I just we just graduated what like five six years ago. I mean, exactly. Like, it, 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 exactly. Years. But it's like I saw I saw this discussion uh, on 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 Facebook. The reason why I think what what was going on with you was awesome is because I saw this discussion on on Facebook where people were like, I think the question was, what's the longest friendship you have? And then, like, I was seeing people put up these years. I was like, that's it? Like, you guys don't got none of your people anymore. So to see that you still have your friends, that's 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 amazing. Because, like, I don't know how people are not maintaining more relationships. Like, if, if you uh, people, listen, I'm not out here to judge nobody. If your longest friendship is four years, man, you might need to look at yourself. You might need to look at yourself. There might be something wrong with you. It might be something wrong with you. Four well, years ain't enough. Our friendship too, because a lot of people always will say like, oh, we've been friends 50 years, but they ain't really friends because I mean, right. they, they, they holler each other once a year. No, like right. I, like we friends, friends. Like we talk right. every week. They know everything about me. We've been through everything. Like I'm not talking about, you know, we have a lot of people we went to college with. They're like, oh yeah, we've been friends for 37 years. I'm like, no. I mean, y'all cool. <laughs> I've, known, I've known each I've other. I've known you for that long. I've known right. you for that long. Y'all are associates. <laughs> But I'm talking about we real, real, like getting each other's at, like, you know, real shit, a relationship, relationships that must be maintained. And that's why I think people don't do friendships because we will do for our romantic relationships what we won't do for our friendships. And it's like, mm -hmm. I believe my friendships are just as deep as, as my romantic, like it's like it's someone you love. Like we have shared life together in, in ways. And, and honestly, until you, until you 
get into a, a romantic relationship with a person that you, you know, I know either marry or do a long term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into like your friendships are more important than other your relationships. Your friendships are more important, have. right? I've always so, maintained. Yeah. So, like, I mean, as, as a matter of fact, like, I, like I recently uh, made a music video for one of my songs, and my literally my roommate from Thank freshman year of high school. I will. I will. I absolutely will. But it's like my my roommate from freshman year of high school. We've known each other for like 20, 20, 22 years. He's the one that directed it. So it's just like so it's like so we, so it's like, yeah, like maintaining those relationships is 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 incredibly important. Absolutely. Oh, let me tell you something. And you know, the universe always the timing is so good because like I met them the day after Chauvin was released. Cause I my soul was tired, honey. I needed some. I needed my soul to be fed. So it's been real good. I mean, it's been, it's been good. But what my friend, she's never been to uh, Cali. She wants to go to Compton because those are how my friends are. You know, I'm trying, you know, <laughs> I'm just, like, fuck these nice, a nice restaurant I'm trying to take it to. Yo, show me, show me where it's really at. Show me where it's yeah, really she, at. Yeah, she, that's what, yes, we're right. So we about to go and uh, hang out. Luckily, we have some friends out here that are from here and hang out a little bit. But I said, we had to touch base post verdict. I mean, it definitely is. A little Absolutely. bit of a load set off. I know we got the young sister. We need to talk about that. That situation is so complicated. I can't really wrap my head about it. But that, that'll, take that'll take a while. That'll take a while. Maybe I've lived a different life than some people, but I've seen I've seen girls fight and I've seen knives pulled, and I've I've seen those fights be de-escalated and broken. I've been, apart. Randy, I've it's been not. stabbed. I've been stabbed. It it, it, it it sucks, people. It sucks. I wouldn't recommend it, but <laughs> <laughs> but. Nobody's dead out here. And I'm still, I'm here. You all did. I mean, it happened, I think it happened like, 20 years ago, but I'm still here talking to you. Right. Everybody's alive. Nobody's dead. Like, you know, especially we can, we can talk about this uh, uh, later, but especially if she called you guys for help. Yes, yeah, she, right. She called you guys for help. Then you get on the scene and immediately start killing them. Like, I did. Right. And I've seen, I've seen white people come at cops with knives themselves coming at the cop. And she was going there's to. A vi- there's a video circulating, like there's a video circulating around right now. Like, yeah. One of the people that posted it was uh, 50, 50 cent. Where like literally this guy is literally walking down his driveway with a knife towards the cop. The cop keeps backing up once again. And, 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 and that's the thing that kills me is that like, there are so many blatant examples that contradicts everybody's just comply statement. There, there are so many oh different God. situations that contradict that, but you just willfully look away just to tell us how we should behave when you guys literally don't do the same. You don't, don't you don't do the same. But they get away with it. I, yeah, I'm sick, I'm sick of the willful ignorance. I'm, I'm just so fucking sick of it. But yeah, um, you know, was the girl clearly troubled? Yes. Did she have a knife? Yes. Did it look scary? Yes. All that. Yes. But I'm just saying, but maybe I didn't you, you know, maybe you my know life that? wasn't as, as, as crystal clear as some people, but I have seen some girls throw down more than once. You know, they, you know what I'm thinking? I was a teacher in high school. You want to uh, see talk about some of the fights I would see, and nobody absolutely. got fucking shot, right? The worst thing that happened is people got expelled or suspended or in school suspension, but we de-escalated it because we went with a mindset of different something else because we love these kids, right? So the fact that you need to shoot someone in the chest four times, I don't know. I just, I cannot what, get... Wouldn't it have been amazing, Randy, if, you know, that cop somehow mistook their gun for a taser, but it, it doesn't happen the other way around. That's it? what I was thinking. Why, why, why couldn't it? Yeah, hey. It, does, it doesn't happen the other way. It doesn't you. happen the other way. It doesn't happen the other way. But Understood. On a positive note. Oh, and we, okay, we got another death, another rapper is gone. Like, what's Man, we are black, black Rob and Shock G. You and Cali yeah. right now. Black so, Rob, you know, yes. That's true. In three. So hopefully we're good. You know, oh, hopefully that's good. it. Good. But I don't know. I, I'm hoping that Black folks are taking a sigh this weekend. Like we need it. Nourish your souls because we do got to, we're going to fight it. it. You know, we're still fighting, but we deserve happy too. So spend some time at least celebrating this one small victory. Spend some time nourishing yourself and the people you love because. Absolutely. You know, we need Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I appreciate you taking the time. If y'all hear about a, a black middle-aged woman, something happened in a Compton. <laughs> <laughs> Randy didn't do it. That's just yeah, a- <laughs> I, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. That's all I'm saying. It wasn't me. <laughs> Randy didn't do it. <laughs> y'all have a good weekend. All right, y'all. Yes, sir. Everybody Peace. enjoy. Peace.